Good morning, folks. The Christmas burst was an extra-long gamma flash that scientists have tried to explain with things like stellar collisions, stars eating other objects, but they now believe a sun about as wide as Jupiter's orbit exploded to create this event. It's not exactly an electric universe topic, but it's an interesting video to accompany an interesting article. Unless you are brand new here, you know that global warming is a terrible name for the total gamut of climate extremes we're seeing, especially as cold has stepped up lately. The predictions for anthropogenic warming are failing by the day, and I show this copyrighted article for the purpose of commentary to suggest that the previous warming we've noticed was aided immensely by the weakening magnetosphere, and that recently with cooler temperatures, you can correlate that to the sun shutting down magnetically. The videos explaining that are first in the description box below this video. But with that in mind, let's go to the climate report. This is the U.S. report for the last month many significant events and trends. Temperatures were below average in March after setting all-time records just a year ago for heat. Despite heat and cold records both bowing to precipitation records, those are isolated and it was actually the fifth driest March on record. Even with all the individual rain records, the national totals are below average as well. And this is the principle of extreme climate swings. Break a one-day record for rain but have 29 days of wicked drought. 75 degrees at 3 p.m., 35 degrees 12 hours later. This is the Climate Extremes Index. I'd change the rubric a bit if I was in charge, but even as is, it's pretty cool. Our wildness was three and a half times higher than normal last month, and the third wildest in more than 100 years. Sad that this is a tertiary story. Check out the Bowshock article below. Learn about slams and solar wind interaction at our planet's outer shield. Coming to earthquakes had two huge ones yesterday, a 7.8 at the Iran-Pakistan border left dozens dead, and a 6.6 .6 later in the day hit PNG. I very much appreciate many of you trying to make it fit the watch rubric, but I disagree. I did not consider this corona hole to be enough on its own, and I know that three of you beating my percentage right now have been using only coronal holes. And yes, Mars does conjoin the Sun at the beginning of tomorrow, just about 14 hours away. And yes, I had it wrong on my chart. It is the 18th tomorrow, not the 19th. So basically what they're telling me is that the coronal hole Earth facing and being just two days from a major solar conjunction, why would that not be a quake watch? One person even pointed to the only other seven pointer I've missed this year and then requested I check the northern coronal hole I ignored at that time. Or how about the quake right above that? I missed the first quake of a huge uptick by two days while waiting for the planets to align even with the coronal hole earth facing. Well, too bad for me. I play devil's advocate here. Maybe we'll remember these at the end of the year and learn something, change the rubric, but until then, the coverage of significant quakes dropped from 78% to 74.4 with missing those quakes. Really not that big a deal, especially because that pattern I showed earlier might help us refine this in the future. And since we are all rolling along together, let's remember that a major watch is coming anyway. It begins tonight or tomorrow with the planetary alignments beginning when the coronal opening arrives. Even with yesterday, I do expect more. Flaring has still been relatively quiet with one C3 from a departing region and only the central sunspots with gamma classification to their magnetics. Got some very quiet solar wind, no magnetic disturbances, inductions, or plasma penetration. I suppose maybe one day I'll start these watches a day earlier and stop missing the start of the upticks, but until then, let's hope this watch is less deadly than the two we've already missed. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.